Venga. So I come to Francis E. Walter Dam to kayak and initially thought I was going to need to come with another person because of the way that I thought the kayak launch was. Ended up finding a place where there is actually a, uh, an easier spot for one person to, in my case, blow up my kayak and you know set it out without my car being idle. and. and and so I ended up deciding though that mom and dad, we should come back here because there's a lot to explore and there's great views and I'm going to hike on a trail instead today. But on my way there, I noticed this open gate dirt road with no sign about trespassing and so I just took it. <laughs> so. I'm not sure where this is actually leading me, um, but it was a necessary detour considering that I haven't been able to find many off-roading areas in the Northeast. They're just, they just don't exist as much as in the West. These are the days I just really love and I'm grateful for because they're super exciting and I get to off-road a little bit. I mean, a little bit, right? So as you can see, I really was planning on kayaking today, but luckily I brought my backpack, which had my bug spray in it. So I got my all trails going on the route I was going to take before I just saw that map, which luckily I have one because the service is very spotty and I'm not even sure I'm gonna be able to have all trails up. But that map showed a scenic overlook on a yellow trail at the tippy top and I wanna check that out. So we're gonna try to weave in and out of different colored pathways here. So we definitely have a really good marking system on this trail thus far because it's been very easy to follow with my map and just these markers without my phone, which has been in and out of service. We're going to go to the right and follow the red trail that goes then to the gray trail, which follows the creek up to some of the waterfalls. Yeah, and so this is kind of why I liked the idea of the Gray Trail because it runs right along Shades Creek, kind of all the way up to where we're going. And that water sound is just so nice and peaceful on a walk like this.
So if you're coming the back way, don't miss this sign, falls. And so I think if we go down here, we're gonna see the falls. All right, so we've crossed Shades Creek. We're heading to the final leg of the Gray Trail. Gonna go match over with Cheat Sheet Red Trail to go up to the main preserve center and then find our way to the Yellow Trail with the view. So what I love to see is that actually the preserve center and the nice view and the trails up here aren't exactly drive upable. Is that even word drive upable? Anyway, you can still park down there and, and hike on what was a combination right now of the yellow, green, and red trail. So I kind of like that. I mean, they can't all be walk ups, right? Or, or drive ups because then defeats the purpose of the beautiful land that's around here. <gasps> hey. What's up? See ya. Oh my God, that was amazing. That was so amazing. You see the shock on my face when I turned the corner? I was like, I hope he doesn't run away so I can get him. Ah. Uh. Love it, love it. Gratitude for today. Did not even expect to be hiking today, let alone on this beautiful trail and off-roading and, you know, really feeling in vibration, in, in alignment. And that's encouraging. <laughs> So this might be the scenic overlook. We have a little bit more to go before we're hitting the star, but I have a feeling this is what we're looking at. There's just a lot of trees here right now. In fact, I might come here when the tr there's no leaves on the trees again to see what this looks like without that covering. 
So I've decided that since this place is so beautiful and the trails are so amazing, I got enough sunlight left. I'm gonna get to where I was with that purple trail and go down towards Bear Creek to see what that view is like. Um, I just have a feeling I should do it today. I could break it up into two days, but I really don't want to. I really feel like there's a culmination coming at that point. I don't see any right now, but that's labeled Beaver Lodge. So there must be beavers in the area. I don't know if a beaver did that or not, but that's pretty weird, right? Wow, look at this. Definitely glad I came down to the purple part of this trail. This is a beautiful area, this preserve. I did a little bit of at least each color trail, which is really cool because you get a lot of different areas, a lot of different terrains, and you know, to punctuate it with this at the end, just really, I don't know. It's just beautiful. It's just a beautiful preserve and I highly recommend it. The rest of the purple trail goes into the woods and then from my all trails, it looks like it's an incline going up for another maybe two miles, but that's quite a lot for me as I've done a lot already. And as you can see, we're getting close to sundown and dusk. And so I don't want to be in the woods with the bears. <laughs> so even though I have my bear spray, <laughs> but um, you know, to cap it here, it's, it just seems right. And I just can't stop moving the camera because there's really no bad background here. <laughs> Really cool, really, really beautiful. So we're back at the car. I'm gonna post the trail here. I'm gonna keep this short and sweet because that was almost 10 miles of hiking and close to four hours. I think it was 345, but um, it was a beautiful trail and I definitely recommend at least going on part of it. Definitely check out the Bear Creek on the Purple Trail. Probably the best scenic view, but there's plenty more to see in this Bear Creek Preserve. So definitely check it out. On to the next trail. Bingo. Thank you. 